What's going on people of the internet and welcome to Stevie News. In today's video we've got Mr. Beast. We hardly hear anything from Mr. Beast, except for the Morgs situation where Morgs was copying his videos. His previous editor has said some things on Twitter about Mr. Beast and the entire group itself. So let's give a little read of it, yeah? So this is what he started off with. He started off with, I am not going to make a video about my time editing for Mr. Beast. But I will say that was the most mentally draining time of my life. I was yelled at, bullied, called mentally retarded and replaceable by Mr. Beast every day. Being in tears and having mental breakdowns day after day. The thing with Mr. Beast is that he is so rich that he could just hire an editor like that. So it's easy to replace him. It's understandable. It's understandable how this guy is feeling because how would you like to be replaced by someone like that? I would have been saying to myself, what have I done wrong? How do I make this better? To continue his tweet, right, we're going to have to read it all out because we want to get all the information in this video right now. He followed on to say this. Day after day, right, is difficult. And after a while became too much. After every editing mistake I made, I was made to feel like an absolute idiot. Even if the content wasn't real, no credit was given, unless a video I edited got credited to someone else, editors were told. I know this is going to sound quite horrible to a lot of you, and I'm not trying to offend anybody here, but don't you think, when he made that video about giving this homeless guy a house, do you think that he paid him to be on his video? This could be fake though, because they could get more money coming in, and then they'll spit it off. More and more money by showing he's doing something good. I think he's taken advantage, right? I think he's taken advantage of the entire brand deals and everything. Think about this, Mr. Beast. Without your crew, without your group, you wouldn't be here, right? You wouldn't be here. You wouldn't even be making millions and millions, right? Now, I want to talk about Morgs and Mr. Beast's friendship. Now, as you see, Mr. Beast recently called out Morgs for copying his content. But the good thing with Morgs is he knows it's fake. It's a skit. He knows it, right? Well, I really sounded like uh, I was from England then. At least with Morgs, he admits his content is fake. There are many creators out there who don't admit it. Especially when in Bridgend. So now we're going to move on to this next tweet that he made. And this is getting really, really juicy. Now, this is really interesting me. It makes my blood boil a little bit. If we ever leave the team, we shouldn't be set up for success after. So no credit will be given. Ideas would be taken, people would be baited into the team, and I would be screamed at and then told I just misinterpreted what I heard by his impossible to please manager. The problem with having managers these days is that they use you for money as well. So you've got to be really, really careful of who you employ. You don't want to employ someone who uses you for fame and money. So now we've got the last thing. And this is gonna be wild. And I'm honestly, this is gonna be wild. We'll be forced to resign NDAs and then told these were our glory days. So that's a summary of almost everything on the team. That's what it was like to work for Mr. Beast. And that is why I don't work there now. Thanks for tuning in. An NDA is whatever remains inside the group that is secret remains here. You don't say it to anybody, you don't tell anybody what the videos are going to be, you don't reveal anything public. He made a video a year ago, and I haven't seen this video, and it says why he quit for Mr. Beast. We are going to only play a little bit, and I'm going to put the credits to his video down below. Check his channel out, because I actually feel sorry for him. It's not his fault, really. Editing mistakes happen all the time. Look at me, look at me. I make mistakes all the time with my editing. That's why I was looking for an editor the other day, but no one popped up. What's up guys? Welcome to Mr. Beast. We're gonna give strangers money because it gets views. They admired like my work ethic, everything was good about what I did and I really didn't do anything wrong. It was just that they wanted people who would be there for, for the long run. Mr. Beast invited Turner to his office to discuss whether he's gonna stay long term or temporarily because he had other things to do. He said he was great at editing and everything but now Information has come out that Mr. Beast actually criticised his editing. He made a few little mistakes, which is easy, right? It's an easy thing to do. All editors make mistakes. I know Jake Paul's isn't that great, is it? Actually, Jake Paul, who do you get to edit your videos? Because I want to edit them now. I, I think I'd be great at that. Turner recently tweeted this out 19 hours ago. Okay, I'll make a video with proof and receipts and all that. And it'll be up probably next weekend. Sound good. This is where Mr. Beast might lose a lot of subscribers because there could be things out there 
that Mr. Beast doesn't want anybody to know. There's things in loads of businesses that people don't want other people to know. So for example, Jeffree Star, he had loads of things going on. He didn't want anybody to know. Moving on, Shane Dawson recently released his new documentary for the beauty community. We can give out a shot because I've watched all of it. I'm a good boy. I'm a makeup artist. I am great. You need to hire me, like. You need to hire me. Um, you're nice but naive. <laughs> and it's time to change that, because I used to be the same way. And I got taken advantage of without knowing, and just so many people gave me shitty deals, and I thought that was normal. And it was so not normal and awful. You know what I mean? But I think everything fully happens for a reason, and life put us together. And we're just setting standards for the future. There's so much you can do with the ingredients. There's so much you can do with the branding and stuff. There is so much you can do. So people haven't people haven't a go at Jeffrey for apparently copying someone else's brand. And to the final news story to surprise you people, LT Cobra actually exposed someone. Yes, yeah, surprising that it is. Yet yeah, LT Cobra, please don't hurt me. I know you've got a bigger subscriber count than me. I know you're gonna destroy me in a boxing match. Actually, give me a DM on Twitter and I'll destroy you in a boxing match, I swear to God. Only joking, pal. I'll, uh, I'll make sure I'll credit your channel in the description. LT Cobra recently released a new video and he actually exposed someone for going to a YouTuber's house to film them. Now, if you didn't know, this is completely and utterly wrong and you should never do that. Although, someone did get away with going to someone else's house. Anyway, today we're going to be making a video on a YouTuber known as Top11 Speed, who um, recently overtook me in subscribers, which, um, it, it hurts. Yo guys, you have arrived, but I'm uh, too much of a One of you guys has to have more to do. to the end. Watch to the end for a free cookie. What a creative YouTuber you are. Yo guys, leave a like if you get bullied at school. Don't blame it on me. <laughs> blame Huawei. Now but for real guys, today I'm going to be doing something nobody else has ever done. How can somebody go, you know what, invading someone's privacy? That's pretty interesting. Boundaries, content creators go, is embarrassing. Yes, I totally agree with you LT Cobra. Who is this type of person to record this? And plus he claims that he's the only person who's ever done this, but we know that's a lie. For real guys, today I'm going to be doing something nobody else has ever done. This has happened to KSI's brother Deji, people jumping over the fence in order to get an autograph with him. Yeah, it's not only this kid, right? It's not only this kid who's done it, he's making the entire YouTube community look bad. This YouTuber is known as Top11 Speed, and he makes a quite interesting content, if I'm being honest. He's got 60,000 subscribers, right? Which basically all of his videos are on morgues. Yeah, I, I haven't seen anybody like that before, have I? Yeah. So this is the last point I want to bring up. And yeah, I did say this. He does actually clickbait. He clickbaits quite a lot. Yes, morgues does the same thing. So what is going on here? Yeah, he copies morgues. He's a brilliant, brilliant YouTuber. I love his content. He's the best. I want to be him when I grow up. I honestly do. We'll watch one episode of his video and see what type of points he brings up because I'm not sure if he's suited to be a commentary YouTuber just yet. An Area 51 raid supposed to be today and we're running in f***ing alien suits. Do you see these guys? Alright, so the other day the Area 51 raid happened in Las Vegas, Nevada and oh my goodness, it was super cringy. Nah, but for real, a lot of people live stream the Area 51 raid. Even though it's worth yes, he clickbaited. What a legend like. Oh my god, he's gonna have 10 million subscribers like Morgs. Oh, he's gonna hit 100k before I hit 100k. Wow. Wow, I'm so impressed. He clickbaited the title to say he was going to Area 51. He didn't go. Yeah, that's a real Morgs move there. Right there. Well done, man. You're becoming a clickbait king. You can be loved in the community for all your clickbait. Well, the only thing I've got to say is at least you're not as bad as Lewis Clark. Now then you would have been stuck in a pickle. So you say, oh, okay, Morgs copies Mr. Beast, blah, 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 blah. But you copy Morgs. Oosh! See? Stevie Magic here. Stevie Magic in the air. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to keep up with my news. Make sure you turn that bell on because I'm going to send a letter to your house complaining. And you don't want that. Anyway, peace out. Stay awesome. Have a great day.
and I shall see you in the next video. Stevenites. From London to Simon, I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. We are heroes tonight.